they come. Let's go. Yep. Hey guys, let's play again tonight. Let's play with the family tonight. When I say war, you say eagle. War, eagle, war, eagle, war, eagle. Let's go. Yeah. 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 On October 31st, the Reedsburg Beavers came to Monona Grove for round two of the WIAA Division III State Championship Playoffs. Monona Grove went to work right away, getting on the scoreboard with this long run from speedster wide receiver Andre Narniak. After two shoe carts extra point, Monona Grove was up 7-0. Not long after that, Monona Grove scored again. This time it was Torn Young diving into the end zone. Touchdown! After Drew Shukart's extra point, it was Silver Eagles 14, Beavers nothing. The Reedsburg defense then turned up the heat on Monona Grove, stopping the Silver Eagle offense and forcing turnovers. The momentum then shifted Reedsburg's way, and the Beavers scored their first touchdown, making the score 14-6, Monona Grove. After stopping MG's offense short, Reedsburg then ran back the resulting punt all the way to the end zone to bring them to within two by halftime. Touchdown. MG's offense tried to get moving forward again, but could not put a cohesive drive together. Reedsburg then began a slow, methodical drive, which resulted in a touchdown in the fourth quarter, leaving little time for Monota Grove to react. With time running out and with possession, Reedsburg needed only a first down to seal the win. The final score was Monona Grove 14, Reedsburg 20. You get that big run down the side for a touchdown. Can you walk me through that play? Um, well, basically I just Stephen Martini handed me the ball off and I just saw I just saw green grass because it was just great blocking. And I just could feel the touchdown. I just knew that I was going to get it because the team was blocking so well. The offense was really rolling, it seemed like, in the first quarter, and then they sort of were able to slow you down. How did Reedsburg do that? What did they do differently, or um, what, what sort of happened? Well, everybody that? makes adjustments, but uh, you know they just made a few more plays than we did, and we've lost three games this year, and all of them were very close and could have went our way. We know that. And, uh, but, you know, they're a real good team, and... You know, you never want to hear, oh, they're a, a lower seed. Mm -hmm. When you're playing Reedsburg or Mount Horror, it doesn't matter who you're playing. Mm -hmm. We're all right on that equal ground. And, and uh, you give them credit. They, they did a really nice job. I want to say our seniors, I'm really proud of our, our group of kids. They fought all the way to the end. They're just awesome kids, and I was very proud of them. So you go into the fourth quarter with a lead, and that really long drive they have just sort of wore you guys down. Um, sort of talk to me about that drive, what, what was going on? Well, uh, they were running some option. They were, they were hitting us inside on early downs and then picking up yards. They got two real speedy backs. Um, they're a great football team, and, they're, and they were completely healthy. So uh, we knew that this was not going to be an easy game, and our kids, our kids were very professional-like and took it serious. It just, it's just like anything else. I mean... Anybody can get a long drive once in a while, and they did it. Um, so, you know, they made some big plays on that, on those drives, so give them credit. You touched on the seniors a little bit, but what did they really bring to the team this year? Well, they were they were a part of the state championship team, and so they got a chance to really play a lot of football last year, and there's some great kids. So I'm really proud of them. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just unfortunately that you got to lose, and it's never fun, but there's only going to be one winner at the end of this. All right, thanks, Coach. Goodbye.